Well, if you're looking for something to do before all those barbecues and festivities of the 4th of July, how about a Freedom Dream walk and run to raise money for the Outdoor Dream Foundation? Mike Cannon is here to tell us more about that event and who it benefits. Mike, always good to see you. Thank you, Jamarcus. Yeah. Always, you guys are the best, and I appreciate your help <laughs> oh, with everything. You. Uh, this is, as you said, this is our 10th year of the Freedom Dream event to raise money for the Outdoor Dream Foundation. And I'm happy to say that in the first nine years, we've raised well over $100,000 for the Outdoor Dream Foundation. And so this is our T-shirt for this year. Let's hold and, that one uh, up. You're, you're sporting one, of course. Absolutely. And you always and, are so uh, nice to give us one of these. Thank e you so Each much, of our entrants, Mike. so this is for you guys, and each of our <laughs> entrants will get one of these this year. And for the folks who don't know about the Outdoor Dream Foundation, you've got it there on the, on the screen outdoordream.org and what we do Jamarcus is we find children between the ages of 6 and 20 who have been diagnosed with any kind of life-threatening issues mm -hmm. and those children don't want to go to Disney World and stuff <laughs> they want to do something outdoors they want to go hunting they exactly. want to go fishing they want to be outside because that's Absolutely. what they're interested in and so you guys do a really good job of uh, making sure they're able to go on these because who knows it may be their last experience like that or literally once in a lifetime opportunity because of the illness or the you know the chronic uh, uh, thing that they're dealing with so absolutely that's, that's and in a lot of the cases you're absolutely right Jamarcus it could be the very last trip they take and what we do too is we not only that person but that person's guardians if the guardians happen to be the parents or whatever they go with and in the first we're going to be celebrating our 20th anniversary this year in the first 20 years we've affected 2500 families wow it, throughout the country so when you think about that that's a lot of folks that we have impacted over that uh, uh, 20 year period and it makes me feel happy that we get no support from the government it's a christian based operation and all the money comes from outside resource. I mean, it's fantastic, the, the work that you guys are able to do. So all we have to do is come out on the 4th of July tomorrow and run or walk and just do that, be active a little bit, and the money from the registration goes back into the Outdoor Dream Foundation? Every penny that we raise tomorrow will go back into the Outdoor Dream Foundation. And you're seeing some of the videos there of, of previous walk and runs that we've had. And it's just a wonderful way to get your day started and after the event we don't have actual first second and third prizes but we do have some really neat prizes that companies in the area donate to us so after the event folks love to hang around and we have random drawings to see who gets those uh, uh, various prizes and there's some neat ones on there. I wish I could get some. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my, my, I'd imagine a lot of people want to get in on that too and it's a good way to start the day for doing something good for an organization that does so much great work for our community. So give us the details of the event tomorrow. We've okay. got to start over in Anderson. We're going to start at Grady's Great Outdoors on Clemson Boulevard in Anderson and the event starts at 7.30 sharp so if you've not registered yet online you can be there and register in person tomorrow morning, but be there no later than 7 o'clock because the event does start at 7.30 sharp, and it's a 5K or a one mile, and it go, goes down the connector and back to Grady's Great Outdoors. And uh, you've got it there on the website that they could register online, but at this late date, I would recommend that they just register tomorrow morning. Just get there early enough and to get your registration it, Exactly, in. and, and with the weather is always great for us. Uh, it will be <laughs> then like it is out there now, and just come prepared to have a great time and raise money for a great cause. Uh, awesome. Because and, we're proud of it. And this is the 20th anniversary year of the Outdoor Dream Foundation, and also we saw radio in uh, that picture with uh, all of us standing there in Studio 62. <laughs> Uh, you great. guys will have an event that's coming up to, to honor that as well. We do. In August, on August the 25th, we're going to have an event at the Anderson Civic Center. And it's to celebrate not only the 20th anniversary of the Outdoor Dream Foundation, but can you believe this, Jamarcus? <laughs> it's been 20 years since the movie Radio was mm -hmm. released. So it's going to be a 20-year celebration for the release of that movie. Plus, it will be four years since our buddy Radio passed, and we're going to have a celebration of life for him. And Cleve McC McClary, you, you should go online uh, and, and look up Cleve McClary because I'm telling you, 
this guy is the real deal as far as what an American story. hero. Yeah. It is. I'm sure you've looked mm -hmm. it up and and you can pull it up on YouTube. It's Cleb C L E B E McClary, M C L A R E Y. What a story. And then we're also going to have Hank Parker, the great fisherman, is going to be there as well. So that's going to be on August the 25th at the Civic Center in Anderson. So it's going to be plenty of uh, time to get your tickets for that. We want you to get them quick and uh, definitely go out on the 4th of July and celebrate uh, the Outdoor Dream Foundation and all the work that they do. Mike, thank you so much for all that you do. And yes, I'm sir. sure we'll have you back before that event in all August. Right. Thank you so much. Good man. Thank you. Happy 4th of July to you. Same to you guys. Thank you.